Now, you know, this is a subject uh, that I don't have a whole lot of knowledge in, um, but uh, and it's it's the argument about uh, analog versus digital filters. Uh, and we're going to be talking about filter drive as well. So uh, a digital filter would just be like ones and zeros. Um, it, it's through an RC chip uh, or, a, a, or a microcontroller or what have you, um, and it's just ones and zeros. Um, an analog filter would obviously be a bunch of resistors uh, and a capacitor in series, um, and it physically has to pass. It's like it's basically sparks, um, and you know one kind of sounds better than the other. Like a, a Moog uh, synths or Moog synths are very you know sought after because of the analog filter. Um, uh, but say you know the JP8080, it's digital filter. Uh, you know Ableton, this filter is obviously digital, um, and you know there's there's some analog modeled stuff, uh, but it's completely subjective. Um, they they each have like their own kind of character. Uh, digital is very clean uh, and cold sounding. Uh, analog sounds a bit grittier um, because there's some errors and whatever. Uh, depending on how old the filter is and the temperature can uh, change the character uh, and yeah uh, just kind of you know your mileage may vary uh, but with all that set aside I want to get into uh, kind of a filter drive now filter drive is uh, what they did uh, in the old Moog since uh, back in the day what they would do is there was a headphone output um, Okay, let me back up. There's a fil there's the filter circuit, and the filter would accept external instruments. So you could have the filter um, filtering your guitar or whatever, and you'd have you know uh, vo velocity to the to BC gate, and it would alter the the filter um, and whatnot. But what they did is they would have the headphone out of the Moog, and they'd have that running to the external input. So you'd get uh, feedback and saturation, and uh, that's what a lot of people did, and it sounded pretty cool. Uh, and you know, since then they've made it kind of standard. They would have a, a feedback uh, circuit uh, built in, so you didn't really have to do that. Um, so I want to just show you a couple and kind of show you what it can do. Uh, so we have, you know, our basic sound here, uh, open open filter. Kind of low pass, uh, and we'll boost the drive. This simulates that. So we get feedback. It gets feedback so much that it starts to fold back, and uh, the saturation. It gets kind of the point of diminishing returns. So we'll do that, and then we'll bring the cutoff down. So it does, it kind of boosts the volume and it, and it drives it a little bit. So uh, I'll take that. Boom. Um, and this is the Virus TI. Uh, and it has different kinds of saturation. Uh, so we could go kind of a, a hard or like a digital saturation, um, which would be. So that's simple, uh, and we can boost kind of the volume um, in the internal emulated circuit. Right. Oh, I'll show that with just uh, one oscillator. So you have a saw wave, so that's cool. So it, it kind of uh, changes the character. That would be a digital one. There's also a rectifier, uh, which kind of changes the shape as well. So this is uh, in the filter circuit. Uh, quite a bit of synths have this, uh, but not to uh, this kind of extent. There's even a redux kind of filter. So you can get some really kind of interesting raunchy sounds. Uh, Predator has the same thing. It has a yeah pre pre-filter distortion. We'll give that a try with uh, 24 decibels per octave low pass. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, we'll have smooth. Which changes the shape kind of to a triangle. And the edgy is more of an aggressive, I would, I would assume. Right, different, different things. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that would be, it's, it's not in a lot of sense, well, it's, it's in quite a bit of sense, not to the extent of the virus, um, but um, the feedback and uh, the filter is uh, basically filter drive. And uh, I'll get into more of it later uh, in another series, uh, but it's, it's quite extensive to get into. Um, and yeah, that would be analog versus digital and filter drive. Um, typically, yeah, filter drive would happen. It's, it has its roots in uh, analog synths, uh, and it, it, it affects the character of the resonance and the cutoff and kind of does some cool upper harmonic things. Um, I wish I had a Moog to show you, but I do not. I cannot afford one. Maybe one day soon, hopefully. Uh, and uh, yeah, hope you learned something. And uh, we'll be back probably. Maybe not. Alright, well if I'm back, I'm back. If I'm not, I'm not. Alright, take care.